welcome to another online business realm video. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to click the subscribe button. We would appreciate it. So for today's video, we're going to be looking at how to use Binance, a full tutorial. This is really for the beginner, not the advanced cryptocurrency trader or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we're here on Binance right now. As you see, there's a little warning here. It says, make sure you're on Binance.com. There's a popular image going around where someone took some German alphanumeric characters and switched them out with the ends in Binance. So it looks like Binance.com, but it's got a little dot here, a little dot there underneath both the ends. And sure enough, it is a spoof website. So be careful. Always, what I do is just always go to your URL bar and just type it in. Never go directly from a link because there are some scammers out there. And let me tell you, people want access to your Binance account. No question about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and log in. So one cool thing about Binance is to log in, you get to play a game. So it's uh, it's not really a fun game, but you just move this over, get this puzzle piece right here. Just lets you know that you're not a robot. Let's of course you are. So then we got to put in our authentication code. So as you can see, it says Google authentication. If you watched any of our, uh, or if you have watched our Authy video, you'll see that you can also use Authy for this. You don't have to use Google Authenticator. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and type this in and log in. Okay, so uh, let me just say something I've heard. I've heard someone say recently, they said, oh, you know, I'm okay buying Bitcoin or Ethereum on Coinbase, and I'm not ready to make the jump yet to Binance, to buying other coins. Well, Binance is not that complicated. Coinbase is a very simple website. It's very user-friendly. There's only a few different things you can do on that website. So what happens is people start buying on there, they get super comfortable, and they don't want to do anything else or move anywhere else because when you pull this page up, it looks intimidating. You don't even really know where to go on here. So there's some little boxes up here with some information. And then here, you just have basically the markets. So you can sort these by price. You can sort them by 24-hour change, high, low, volume. So as you can see, Nano, that has gone up quite a bit in the last couple of days. You can see the 24-hour volume on it is spiking pretty hard right here. It's about... Uh, 30 or 50 percent higher than number two here ethereum so it's had uh quite a bit more people on there trying to buy it obviously because it's gone from like eight dollars to like 12.57 and of course if you watched our video a couple weeks ago on how to buy Rayblox before they rebranded the nano then maybe you bought some and maybe you're doing pretty good so uh, i recently sold mine <laughs> so you know sometimes sometimes you can win sometimes you can't win but it's okay so let's start, we're just going to go to the thing you have to do first, which the thing you have to do first is you have to put money in. So you're going to come up here and you're going to go to funds, and they've recently redone this menu. Uh, so you can search it by balances, deposits, withdrawals, and transaction history. So if you go to deposits here, you can see all the different deposits that I have made uh, to different wallets on my Binance account or putting money in to make exchanges. And then obviously the same with withdrawals. Sometimes I've withdrawn money to go to different places. Uh, but what we, we really want to focus on uh, is the actual wallet aspect. So this is your my transaction history. Uh, once again, this is just kind of a combination. Uh, this is just kind of a combination of uh, my deposits and withdrawals, but we, we really want to focus on the balances here. So we're going to go to balances. This is where you would need to start. This is how you put money in. And you'll notice I've got some Walton Chain here. I've got some Cardano, some VeChain, some Tron, Enigma Vibe, uh, all the way down here to Ethereum, and uh, so on and so forth. So what we want to do is we want to deposit money in here. So you're going to either want to deposit Bitcoin or Ethereum. There is a third trading partner here, or a third trading pair here on Binance, which is the Binance coin. But to buy the Binance coin, you have to have Bitcoin or Ethereum in here to go ahead and get that started. So we're going to want to deposit one of these. So uh, let's just say Ethereum. All you would do is you would come down here and you would click deposit. 
and this is your address. So whether you're using Coinbase or you're putting this in here from another wallet or maybe you have this on my Ether wallet, which we did a cool tutorial video for that that's done real well, this is where you would send it. So you, you use this address, you send money here, and once you have your money in here, it's going to go inside of your wallet, which is contained on this page that we were just at. And so if you deposited, let's say, one Ethereum, this is going to say one here. And, uh, and one thing to note when they're talking about the total balance is the total balance is not by how much it's worth. It's by how much you have, right? So if I went and bought a bunch of Funfair that is only like four cents or five cents right now, then I, I could have... I can spend four dollars and get a hundred of these, and it's going to rank higher than Walton Chain, which I have ninety-five of. But the Walton Chain would be worth a lot more if that makes sense. So that's they they rank it in how much or how many coins you have. So and then this is going to be your available balance, and this is going to be what you have in order. So if I went and did an exchange and I didn't use the market price, which we'll talk about in a minute, then I could have. A total balance, but my available balance could be zero if I traded it all, and it, if it was in the process of an order, it would show up right here. So, right now, let's say we have some Ethereum. What we would want to do is we are going to want to go over here to Exchange and go to Basic. Now, as I was talking about my friend who said, oh man, it just seems so advanced to go to Binance. When this page pulls up, if you've never been on Binance before, and you're not an experienced trader or investor, you look at this and you say, what the heck? You know, you have no idea what to do when you see this page. I know the first time I uh, went on here, I was trying to buy, I think, some Tron. <laughs> That's another story. But I was trying to buy some Tron, and I went on here several, several, several months ago. And I took one, long, one look at this, and I was like, man, I, I would have no idea what to do. I didn't even know how to uh, find a currency on here. Because up here on the top right, you have your trading pairs, okay? So the link that I went to to, to buy the Tron, it already had a Tron pulled up on the page. So this is what it looked like when I first went to it. So if you went, if you go to a, a, a tutorial blog, like a post, kind of like what we do on onlinebusinessrealm.com, and you're looking to buy a coin and they send you to Binance, they're going to send you a direct link and this is what I saw. I didn't even see any of these other coins, okay? Because the person had built Tron for Bitcoin into the link. So if to clear that, all you would do is just delete that right there, and all of a sudden all your trading pairs show up. So as I mentioned, you can trade in Bitcoin, you can trade in Ethereum, and you can trade in the Binance coin. So the regular fee is 0.0. 3% as you can see down here, but I have some Binance coins kind of stored up in here So I'm getting that at 50% of the rate So if you want a good thing to do is to go on here as soon as you set up your Binance account and Just buy some BNB coins Just spend a couple bucks 10 bucks on them and that'll last you probably a, a while unless you're making huge trades uh, Which in that case make sure you sign up for my <laughs> referral link down below in video information so uh, that's another thing you can set up on here, which is the referral program. Uh, it's Unless you have a ton of traffic going to that link, it's not going to really get you so much because you're only getting a very, very, very small percent of the trades. But uh, that is something you can do on here. So back to our tutorial here. Uh, so let's say we wanted to buy uh, NEO, for instance. What we would do is we would come over here and we would type in NEO. Okay. Now... Depend, we put Ethereum in our account, hypothetically, in the example I showed you a minute ago. So we would actually want to type Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. And so what you would do at that point is make sure you click it. because it, Just because you pull it up does not mean down here, as you can see, it's going to change to the correct coin. So you're going to want to click it. And once you do that, NEO will show up. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You have uh, two, two different options here that I'm going to go over with you. The stop limit that's really for people who are trying to do day trading which I may show you a video on down the road but not right now so your two options are limit or market the limit is kind of a bid system right so as, as you know if you're trying to get into cryptocurrency it's very volatile it fluctuates quite a bit up and down uh, very quickly so with the limit 
you're going to be able to put in a bid. So let's say I put in this bid at this price, and let's say immediately when I hit the price or I hit buy NEO, the price jumps up a little bit. Well, this limit system is going to wait until someone will buy my coins at the bid that I made them at. So that's how you get what's called buy walls and sell walls, and we can do some chart reading in, in some later videos also. But what you're going to want to do, in my opinion, the best thing for beginners is to always use the market because what the market is going to do, it takes out the guesswork, takes out the bid system, and sometimes you might make a trade in the limit, and man, it might take hours sometimes for your money to actually go from uh, you know, in your account to available. So with market, it's instant. So when people use the limit, they're, they're trying to save a few Satoshis here or there. If you don't know what Satoshi is, that is the smallest fraction of a Bitcoin. It's what everything is measured against. And so you can save some, some Satoshis, but of course, if you're you know doing a million dollar trade, then that's going to help you out quite a bit. If you're making a hundred dollar trade, eh, it doesn't really matter and it's not something I would focus on. So with the market, it's going to immediately make your buys and sells based on exactly what the market is the moment that you click buy. So if you're trying to, you know, let's say I'm trying to trade out of NEO and I'm trying to trade back into Bitcoin so I can exchange for something else. And let's say I want to do it in a very small amount of time. I would use the market, just come in there, boom, boom, and make it happen. So we're set on the market price. So it's going to be whatever the price is up here. Okay, as you can see. And let's say if you want to sell 100% of your NEO, you would just, uh, or I'm sorry, if you want to buy 100% of what you had available in Ethereum, you would just hit 100%. You can do it 75%, 50%, 25%. We don't have really any Ethereum or enough Ethereum to purchase anything right now in my account. So I can't actually do the process of buying it, but it's very simple to do. What you can do is a drop down. If you hover over this, a drop down will appear and it'll show you the max amount that you can buy. And you can go ahead and just type that in. As you can see right there, it showed up. Ours is zero. But if it was 100, you would just type in 100 or 50 or whatever it would be. You can also work on the percentages like we showed you. Now, if you want to sell, it's the exact same process. It's going to show you the max amount that you can sell. I don't have any NEO right now at the moment. And you can also do the same thing or click 100, 75, 50, or 25. The sell and the buy work the exact same with limited market, so it's going to go through instantaneously if you use the market, which is really cool. So you just hit sell NEO, and if you want to check your orders after you do it, you just come up here to orders. You would hit open orders. Right now, as you can see, I don't have any. You can go to your order history, and it's going to show you all the different trades that I've made here. This goes back about 30 days or so. So you can also... Go to trade history, and this is going to show you all of your trades that you've made, uh, things that you've traded for, either buying or selling. So it's a good way to kind of see, you know, what what you've been doing, and that is really how you use finance. So there's a few other things on here you can look at. There's labs. So finance labs is where so people can start up ICOs and different things like that. Basically, Binance is money thirsty, of course, and so if they see something that sounds like a good idea, they want in on it, so they provide you this platform to be able to share your ideas with them. I haven't actually ever done it, so I don't know what that would look like. Come over here, click Launchpad. This is going to basically be a place where they show some blockchain projects that you can look into. Of course, you know blockchain games right now are really popular uh, and things like that. There was recently on Twitter uh, something called Crypto All-Stars, you might want to look into it. It's actually hilarious what happened. So a guy bought it for like $30,000 just to shut it down because he said it was a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> so it was really funny. If you go read the tweets, I, I really thought it was hilarious. But uh, you can click Info here. It's going to open in a different tab. This is just going to give you more information about uh, each coin. You can either select USD or CNY for that. So come over here. Funds, we've already gone over that. We've gone over the order. Uh, you can click join us. And this is basically just uh, if you want to join the Binance team. And so if you do want to join the Binance team, then you're probably not watching this tutorial video for beginners. So if you've watched this video and you feel like you can go work at Binance, then by all means, go have at it. So uh, support, if you have support tickets, 
I'll go ahead and tell you, you do not want to make mistakes on Binance. Uh, it is not the easiest site to deal with support-wise. I love Binance. It's becoming the biggest exchange for cryptocurrency. But I had a friend recently who had a problem. He got locked out of his account. It literally took him a month to get back in it, dealing with support. So uh, I would not suggest making mistakes on here. So no pressure. But, you know, just make sure. The biggest thing is just make sure you don't give your account information out to anyone ever. Make sure you are always going directly to Binance.com. And then third, make sure you're sending Ethereum to Ethereum wallets. You're sending Bitcoin to Bitcoin wallets. You're sending Ripple to Ripple wallets. Some things that you send, you're going to have to put what's called a destination tag. Just make sure you have all the information for what you need to do when you're sending your coins. So that's really, really, really important. So uh, then you can click news. They have a little spot here where they talk about news from the cryptocurrency world, different announcements, latest news, things like that. And then, of course, you have your account information, which you can click on here and see some stuff. Uh, you can click up here to go to the referral program. So I've got a few people in my referral program right now. I've got three people that I know that I got I got into this personally. And as you can see, uh, they've they've made some trades, quite a, quite a few trades really. And you can see how much I burned. So it's just it's not really you know unless you're this guy and you've earned 169 bitcoins, which I don't know what he's doing to earn those uh, that much. You're not going to make a lot with the referral program. It's good to have the link uh, to, to you know have a little boost in what you're doing, but unless you develop some kind of huge website where you're just sending thousands and thousands of people to Binance, you're probably not going to make any money with the referral program. I know another YouTuber, Crypto Daily, shout out to him. Uh, he is, I love his videos. He is awesome. He's the number one person who I follow. And he has 80,000 subscribers. All of his videos get 25,000 views at least, if not more. And he says he's hardly made anything with the referral program. So if you got somebody who's a big name YouTuber who's hardly making anything off the referral program, you just got to ask yourself the question, you know, is it really worth it? I don't push my referral link a whole lot. By all means, if you want to sign up for it, go ahead. It's in the information. But it's, it's, it's not a huge moneymaker. If that's what you're looking to do with this, then eh. You know, you might want to look into something else more profitable. But anyways, that is Binance. It's very easy to use now that I've shown it to you. I hope you, you understand the gist of it, understand the market. If you don't understand how to read charts, look up some YouTube videos on that. I know I keep saying we're going to do one one day, and we are going to show one on how to read charts and things like that. But, uh, you know, don't let this confuse you. Don't let this intimidate you. I promise you. Anybody can do this. You get on the you get on the site, do it yourself once, and you'll see it's not really that complicated. It's just intimidating if, if you've never done it before. So hope this video has been helpful. Shout out to anybody that subscribes to our videos. We certainly appreciate all our subscribers and everybody who likes this video, comments. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. I'll make sure to respond to you pretty quick. So don't forget to click the subscribe button. We appreciate everybody. And until next time, get out there and make some money.